Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Cardiac Wire Show. My name is Jake Fishman. I'm the host of the show and the editor of the Cardiac Wire, and we have a great episode for you all today. Uh, we have Jacinda Fitzsimmons from Artella Solutions joining us. We're going to be talking about remote cardiac patient monitoring uh, and evolutions with ECG and AI and how those things are coming together to really better serve uh, patients and their physicians. Um, really excited to share the show with all of you, and I'm happy to have you on the show, Jess. So welcome. Thank you very much. Glad to be here. Glad to share all the information. Huh. It's, it's good to have you with us. Um, Maybe to start us off, if you can give us a quick intro to Artella and yourself and role there in your background in cardiology. Yeah, sure. Um, well, I'll start with myself first because the role's into Artella. So um, my background is in nursing. Um, I trained in Ireland and I came to the States about, uh, well, I came in 1994, um, worked in intensive care, I was a manager, educator, and then I became a patient safety officer and um, taught a lot of EKG. And that's when I get involved in actually a company called Preventus, which is really eCardio. I became their director there over their lab. And that's when I got to know about IDTFs and algorithms and such. Then I had my own company where we monitor for other companies. And during that time is when Larry Lawson came after me to join Artella because he started this new company and he wanted me there because I'd worked for him for eCardio for 10 years. And then I joined Artella. Um, so what it could do, I could see the potential, and the rest is we're making history. Um, Artella itself is um, a newish company monitoring patients at home, remote monitoring, and um, you know we just provide I think a great service, and our job and goal is to provide that for the patients as well as the physicians, and that's where I met up with um, Manibo. So for these patients, uh, I guess, what, what are the type of patients that you'd be monitoring and how are, how are you monitoring them? So we actually work um, with a lot of cardiologists, primary care physicians, and electoral physiologists. And they wear devices at home 24-7. They're being monitored. So if a patient has um, issues like palpitations or any type of cardiac issues, the doctor will order a monitor and we will deliver that monitor to the patient. Sometimes we go out ourselves and put it on the patient. And when we monitor and give the data to the physician so you can make you know, an informed decision about the patient's treatment. So when you talk to these physicians, particularly maybe at the cardiologist and electrophysiologist, um, what are the types of challenges that they're telling you that they're facing, just um, basically running their practices? Yeah, no, that's a good question. So we actually ask them that question We, you know, when we talk to them. And uh, right now, it's mainly um, timely, accurate data. They want the data that's accurate and they want it on time so they can make an informed decision. And that's something that they ask for, as well as care of their patients, just simple, basic care of the patients, educate them on the device and monitor them to make sure they're compliant. So how does Artella um, help solve those challenges? Um, well... I actually think of Artella as the movie, if you know the movie Fast and Furious. So I use that terminology. I think we're fast and we're furious. Fast in our turnaround time and fast in our hookups. And furious to me is the determination and passion we have to give that data to the doctor on time and to take care of the patient. And that's how I look at it. Um, another way I look at it is our elite team, which is our customer service team. I call them the angels taking care of the patients. So we've got fast, furious angels taking care of these patients and practices. I love that. Might I try to use that someday. Um, so, and I understand you mentioned earlier that, that you became connected to Enable Technologies. Um, how do you work with them and how do you apply their algorithms to, uh, to your own data collection? Well, um, I just want to step back a bit because it's interesting because I knew and met Dale when I worked for eCardio years and years ago. And I didn't know much about algorithms then, but I was so impressed back then when I started to learn about it. And then when I went out into my own company, I got to learn more about algorithms. And then lo and behold, I joined Artella, and here's Dale Maniba as a partner. 
which I was very excited about because I already knew them and I knew their reputation. So right now we work with Dale's team to give the technicians a better chance in building reports because with their algorithm, it cuts down the time of having to sift through all that crappy data that comes in. We get data in every 24 seconds. That's a lot of data. If someone's wearing a monitor 24 seven for seven to 10 days, so Dale's algorithm, it sifts through all the garbage and it puts the rhythms that are appropriate into particular bins so the technicians can build a report and give it on time to the physician. Do you, do you have a feel for how much time that might save or, or you know, how that impacts the um, people building their reports? If you're looking at a patient who's on a monitor like for 15 days, mm-hmm. you know, up to 30 days, all that data coming in, um, you know, some of those reports can take people, you know, two to three hours. You know, we're doing hours in about 40 minutes. Okay. That's, and that's the fact that the, impact. yeah, and the fact that we actually get the criticals in, I call it a needle in a haystack. You know, you get all this data in and you're looking for that um, bad rhythm so you can help the patient. And we do very well at that. Um, and the algorithm will actually show us those bad rhythms so we can call the physicians and the patients to make sure that they're safe. Great. So when you, I mean, in addition to your previous history uh, working with Dale at Manibo, um, was is there specific reasons that you chose to work with them or, or that um, Artella chose well, to work with them? Yeah. I mean, there's, well, there's a lot of reasons, but the main ones would be their algorithm and the fact that it is good and it cuts down on our labor. And so we get the reports in time, as I said. And um, also the algorithm is customized, it's device specific, meaning that it works with device, each device separately. And that is allows for accuracy. You know, it's having your own specialized, customized um, house or car, if you look at it that way. So the algorithms are specific to these devices that we use. And um, the other thing that is more important to me, well, actually it's the algorithm is important, but I work well with the team. They're very open to suggestions and obviously critiques, to be honest. And we meet regularly and anything I've ever asked for, it's answered the same day. We have meetings all the time. And that to me is a great service and great quality that you don't find anywhere else. When you look at your your years in the clinic and then your years basically serving the people in the clinic. Um, We've seen remote patient monitoring for cardiac patients really evolve, I'm sure. when you kind of put your take your crystal ball out and think about you know the next five to ten years for uh, remote cardiac patient monitoring, what are the types of changes that you're expecting to see, or how do you see it evolving even further? Um, you know, have you ever watched Star Trek, the old Star Trek, William Shatner? Yeah, yeah. Do you remember he used to have that flip thing like beam me up, Scotty? That then became the flip phone that's now progressed onto modern stuff. And it just shows you how things change and it's fast. What I see is the devices that are wearable getting smaller. I think to the point that it'll be slipped under the skin and you can actually read it through your skin, but um, it's gonna contain every possible parameter that a doctor wants, be it blood pressure, um, oxygenation, temperature, movement, all the things that you would normally be monitored inside a hospital, it's going to be smaller and it's going to be somewhere in the body that's not going to interfere with a uh, patient's daily activities. On top of that, what I think is going to happen and probably already has started is the algorithms are getting smarter and they're going to be predictive. I think we're going to have predictive analytics due um, with the algorithms. In other words, the doctor now will be able to see ahead of time where the patient is heading so he can treat them sooner. And now we have a patient who will have you know, longevity where you may not have had before. It seems like the benefits of that um, are also kind of create the similar type of challenges that that clinicians are seeing now in terms of, um, you know, all the data coming in and having to figure out how to deal with it. So kind of having a team on their side, like Artello or technology like Manibo, um, just becomes even more important as more data is flowing in. No, exactly. And that's why I'd say like Fast and Furious and I'm speaking on behalf of Manibo that they're fast and furious too, because we're all determined, we're all passionate to get that data in front of the physician, because time 
is it costs money and it's time is for the patients to become better and to live longer lives. But we've got to get that data in accurately to the physician. And that's what I think we do best as a partnership with Manibo and ourselves. The um, things you just shared, I mean, I just learned a lot. This is an area that, you know, that we cover within the cardiac wire all the time. Um, but the, you know, the challenges that that are out there and that, you know, need to drive further adoption. I mean, I think that um, basically technologies and services like what you at Artella and um, at Medeva are doing really helped drive that along and make it um, both more accurate and effective, but also more, um, you know, operationally effective for, exactly. uh, and that's a big deal. I would say to the, to the folks who are watching, um, you know, if you're running a remote patient monitoring operation or you, you aspire to, you know, give the folks at Artella and Medeva a call, uh, they, you know, they have a well-organized operation and, um, and they really are, you know, as I understand, fast and furious and, uh, and have a team <laughs> angels on their side. Uh, Jess, thank you so much for joining us. No, it's my pleasure. Thank you so much. Right. Thank you. Great. And thanks for watching, everyone.